everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a slightly different one in terms of my setup because I've just gone and made this and I was recording because my intention was to just make this one of those quick kind of minute long videos. I was just going to stick it on high speed and put it on Instagram or something. But when I was making it, I thought this is actually a really fun, I think, way of really utilising your stamps and creating the shape of your card, you know, depending on what stamp you use. So this is a card that I've made for my dad for Father's Day and it was using the stamp sets, well two of the stamp sets that come with the current issue of Creative Stamping Magazines. This is issue 72 and I'm really glad I got this. It was the last one in WH Smith so I know this one's been popular because it comes with this extra really lovely bird set of stamps here and it's in collaboration with the RSPB. Now, my dad loves puffins, and that's one of the reasons why I really wanted this magazine, because that's why, obviously, I've made this really fun card. And then what I've done is I've taken the kind of, I guess it's like the rocks, meant to be like the beach rocks there. I've taken that stamp, and I've used that to actually form the shape of my card. As you can see there, if I open it up, all I've done is stamped and then fussy cut the top, but leaving a slight piece connected, it's about an inch and a half there, and then I've just stamped these lovely puffins, fussy cut it and stuck it all down and I, I just think it's turned out really really nice and it just made me think actually I think if I show this in a little bit more detail it might encourage you more to maybe get some of your stamps out and actually you know rate, make some really fun shaped cards. So it's a very very simple process. So I've just got my, I'm going to make this card again but what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in the high speed part of me colouring and fussy cutting because you don't need to see that all twice so I'll kind of flip and you'll see that bit and then I'll go back to this card but they should pretty much look the same I might use a different bird I'm not sure yet so I've got here a pre-made five by seven card now you can have any size card it doesn't matter but you want to make sure that you've got your fold along the top now the stamp that I'm using is this one here so this is the rockery so I'm just going to get my stamping platform. What you want to do is obviously play around with your layout, I would say, because obviously I didn't want... This is the top of the card, but I've cut away... If, you, if I was to put that one over the top, so there's the top of what is the card. You can see there how much I've cut away. So you, it's up to you, depending on how big you're going to have this card. You may well... I could have easily stamped this whole card with this rockery, or this rock stamp, and then just, you know, carried on and fussy cut the top left and right hand corners there but I quite liked that it was shorter because I've overhung this top puffin so that now if I sit that at the bottom you can see there it's not too far off the top so I can still fit this into a five by seven envelope and you know I've just done that and brought it down and how cool does that look now if I was to put a blue sky behind it <laughs> I really like that but ultimately I love that this is the card it's all in one but there you go you can see it's another fun design there so because I already know kind of where I, I want this card to be. I'm just going to line mine up there and I'm just going to put a pencil mark just there and then I can just run that through my trimmer. Okay so it's up to you how big this section is. All I'm kind of showing you is the fact that you can stamp and just cut any any shape you want. Like I could do the beach huts for example. They could be along the top and then I could have the top of my card just joined here and then you just roughly fussy cut around that and you've got again a fun shaped card that way but I just thought if I bring in this one first because this is definitely something you're going to see me doing a lot because I yeah I love it okay so before I stamp I'm just going to trim that excess off always remember you're cutting away the open end of the card okay so now that's all I'm left with so my card is now measuring three is three by seven all right then I'm going to grab my stamp and again my stamping platform. I've got my cup of tea there. I was just having a nice little evening I'm doing some colouring and then I thought no I'm going to show this one off. Okay so I'm starting off from the top so I'm just sitting that one right as close to the top as possible like so and then I'm just going to pick that one up and I'm going to use my memento because I'm colouring with my Arteza Everblend markers. So they're the alcohol base, so the memento works really good for that. So I'm just going to stamp that down. And there we go. I'm not too, I might do it again, but I'm not too worried because I am colouring over all of this. There we go. I'm just going to roughly wipe my stamp in between. Okay, then I'm going to move this up because 
sometimes it starts to overhang off the edges. So you can see I haven't filled all the gaps. So I've done the rocks and then where I didn't fill it, fill it, I've just added green to have grass going through it. So don't worry about joining up. The main piece you want to focus on is the, sh the outer edge because that's going to be the shape of your card. So I'm going to bring this one now so it's kind of on an angle. I'm going to go off like that so it's a little bit different to the last card I've done. Okay, and again I don't need to ink, oh yeah I do, I'll ink it all. So now you can see the shape my card is going to be because I'm going to roughly just cut along there. It's an, e it's an easy piece to cut and then again I'm just going to wipe that off there and then I'll do this side so I'm going to have to put it like that now and then I want to kind of create the same kind of curve so I think I think I got the last one about there. And this is the thing I've said before about the Creative Stamping Magazine and one of the reasons I love to buy it is they always create a scene with the stamps. So it's not like you're buying, you know, sometimes they've done sentiments, but you're not just getting a load of flowers. You're actually getting everything to create a really fun scene with your cards. You know, you've got your deck chairs, you've got the sun setting there, you've got the horizon. There's just so many elements to this and you can create your foreground and your background really easily. So it is, they are really handy. I've got so many of these A4 stamp sets over the years and they are probably one of the ones that I find I always get out a lot because they just, they're so handy. So this one here, I'm gonna pop down the bottom. So I'm gonna have quite a nice green area there, but by the time I put the birds on there and stuff, a lot of it does get hidden. And then again, just ink that one up. There we go, and then I think I'm going to add a little bit more, kind of, I don't want it to look too like the same rock, so I'm going to bring this right up, and then I, th oh, I think I've just about managed to save that. Okay, so now I can cut around this, so I'm just going to give myself about one eighth of an inch, a few millimeters, and just very carefully. I'm using these Tim Holtz scissors that they're really good for cutting through thicker because I'm cutting through 300 GSM cardstock here, so and obviously it's doubled. So now, when you come to the top, you want to decide where you're going to come off and then just snip away. You've got to keep something attached, so I'm going to keep it's about one and a half inches to this point here. I could come in before, but I think that's quite a nice amount without it starting to become too flimsy. So it's like when you make the circle easel card and you, when you use your die, you overhang the die ever so slightly just to have that little bit connected. It's that kind of process. And now I already have now a really unusual card and it will stand up perfectly because you've got that piece that's joined. So now I'm gonna edit in all of the colouring.
Okay, so I decided to go for the puffins again. I'm just a little bit attached to them. There's something very endearing and they just look beautiful and they're really nice to colour actually because it's relatively easy, but it's just it's nice to add the little colour on the beaks and things like that. So yeah, so I've just literally done exactly the same again, but I just absolutely love this. It's such an easy style. I just thought I'd show you as well a couple of the other birds I did start colouring. And I started to have one of each and it just didn't kind of flow. So I'll, I'll think of something else to use with them and I no doubt I'll share that one. I just want to show you just how easy these are to use. So for example, I could pop him there on top of these, which are kind of like the wooden, I don't know what they're called. They were almost, I want to say divider, you know, they kind of go out into the ocean. I think it's to help the waves, isn't it? To stop the, the waves kind of breaking or something to do with helping the tide. I should know that because I live on the coast, but I'm sure it's something like that anyway. But they could sit on there. And again, you've just got a beautiful card and that could be, you know, a part of the card that you kind of cut around like the top of it. So it is a quick video. I hope it inspired you. I hope it encourages you to go and grab your stamps and just see how you can create your background and allow that to become the shape of your card. And I think, and I hope you agree, I think they look absolutely awesome. So this is certainly a style that I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I love that I came about it really by complete accident because I just started to stamp this and I thought, hang on a minute, let's try this and it worked. So I love these cards. Whether this one will end up being given away, I might just keep it on display because I do love it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this quick video and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.